So there was an interesting moment that happened the other day that split the left a little bit, at least on Twitter. This was this was bizarre. So Mitt Romney, of all people, tweeted, Black Lives Matter. And then you see he was he's wearing a mask here, but he's, uh, you know, marching in a protest in Washington, D.C. So I saw a lot of takes that, you know, people were saying like, hey, guys, this is a W. Just take it. Like, you can't tell right-wingers, Republicans, whatever, like, you need to be on our side, and then the second they come on your side, be like, how dare you come to my side? So there was a lot of a lot of that going on. People saying, just, you know, if we're ever going to make change, we need to actually sway some people on the right, and this is an instance of that, so why would you not, like, why would you be against it when it happens? Like, that was... Probably 50%, maybe a little bit more of the takes on, on my Twitter timeline. But then there were others that were just like, well, this is just a cynical ploy, obviously. He doesn't actually mean anything by it. And for me, so, so this, is the, this is what it comes down to. This is the real test. The test is, okay, Mitt, what are you going to do policy-wise? Because he's a senator. He's a senator. So, and some people responded to him there and said, great, now will you support the demilitarization of police? See, that's the real test. He could tweet Black Lives Matter. He could, he could march in the protest. If people want to say, okay, that's a good indicator of what he might do, okay, fair enough. But the cynical view is, no, he'll say that and he'll tweet that, but then he, he will not do anything in terms of policy. So that's the real test. I'll reserve judgment until unless and until we know where he stands on the policy issue but if Mitt Romney really wants to get actual credit from the left he would come out for the campaign zero reforms so end broken windows policing do community oversight of the police limit the use of force that they could use independently investigate and prosecute officers have community representation in police departments have body cameras that film the police and they can't turn them off at penalty of law and no excuses, uh, training towards de-escalation, end all for-profit policing, demilitarize the police, have fair police union contracts, and then the other thing is, end the drug war, cut the budgets at least 50%, I'd say, because we spend so much more on policing than on, on welfare, have a three strikes and you're out law for cops, where if there's three complaints of any kind of abuse of authority, gone. And also, my new favorite, the police, the police law, which is this idea that if you have one police officer who's committing an egregious crime and others are just standing around watching that officer, the ones who are standing around watching it and not stopping him can get found guilty of the crime that the officer is committing. So that makes them all accountable. And so they will stop one another because they don't want to go to jail if they see one of their buddies cracking a skull or committing murder or whatever it might be. Um, it's a way to totally change the way things work at the moment, which is just totally unacceptable. So, if Mitt Romney, even if Mitt Romney comes out for two of those things I just listed, well, then of course I'll give him credit. Of course I will, because to me it's all about policy. That's what matters. The end-all, be-all in the conversation is policy, because that's the idea of politics. Let's try to change society for the better through policy. So, if Mitt Romney comes out for one or two of those, you know, various police reforms, okay, then you give him a whole bunch of credit. But if he doesn't, then yeah, everybody's being a little bit of a sucker by giving him credit for saying Black Lives Matter when he's not going to change anything. Because like I told you guys in a previous segment, the first thing they cave on is the symbolism. The first thing they cave on is the symbolism. Because nothing hinges on the symbolism. It's good that you pull down the Confederate statues, that's wonderful, but that's the first thing they're going to give in on because they could still keep policing exactly as it is and pull down the Confederate statue. So Mitt Romney could march and say Black Lives Matter, but then that's it. And then it's like, okay, did you win anything? No. He's just being a politician in that respect. But again, I'll reserve judgment until we see what he does with policy. Maybe he will come out for one or two of the things or sign on to another bill that has some of these ideas in there. But either way... You know, this was a big story that kind of split people.